I see bouldering as dessert. Sport climbing as an entree and multi-pitch climbing as the main course. And if you've gone out and bolted it, that's farm to table, mate. It doesn't get any better. This wall has been in the back of my mind since 2016 when I bolted and climbed scurvy. Uh, that's just around the corner here. It's a seven pitch grade 30. Really, really awesome. I was feeling burnt out recently with my climbing and there was this feeling that something was missing. And I think after the Olympics and everything being so much about high performance and there was so much input and it just got to this point where it didn't feel like the way that I wanted climbing to feel for me. I needed some adventure and exploration. I needed this. So I pack my gear together and come out to explore this wall. Heading down that way. There's a pretty incredible looking orange wall down here. Hopefully it's gonna be cool. Pretty flippin' psyched actually. This is uh, kind of maybe better than I thought. I've now been down on the wall for maybe 45 minutes. It is raining as you can see but the line I'm thinking will kind of yeah basically where my line is now up through here come down and then there's like these cool sort of blunt arets or prow kind of features oh, it's getting a bit getting a bit rainy again now get a little lower it should be sort of a little bit more out of the wet such a pretty place to be though Check out this thing. So I'm thinking now actually, rather than maybe going up through here, pretty awesome wall, come up this arete, and then up into this section, have a blay at the top of this arete pitch, like blay up in there, and then kind of just wander off and up. Looks like maybe like a 20, mid 20s pitch. Um, featured enough, low angled enough that you can get away with a lot. Very good. There's so much problem solving in developing a new line and it's something that probably a lot of people don't really think about when they're just going out and go for a climb because it all just makes sense. It's like, oh yeah, sweet, the, there we go. The bolts are in the right spot and all that. But it takes, at least for me, so much brain power to think about where the natural line is going to go, where the climber is then going to go, where are you gonna click? Are the bolts in the right spot to keep everything safe? Been trucking along for about an hour or so now on what will be the second pitch of this route. Uh, just checking out the bolt placements and trying to work out where the climbing's actually gonna go, where you're gonna clip, all that sort of thing. I thought I'd just show you how cool this pitch is gonna be. You'll be starting down here on this ledge, the top of pitch one. Uh, and come up through this corner kind of flake system. It looks kind of cool, maybe like 22, 23 climbing, something like that. So like mm, 7A, 6C plus sort of thing.
and then just burr, 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 up to the anchor. So good. So this is what I was coming down for today. Top of pitch one, bottom of pitch two. And this ledge, it's a bit of a mess. Rope's a bit of a mess at the moment too. I'll show you what's going on. Top of pitch one is just here and then you come up to your belay. I don't know if you can see, like just there is the bolt to come up and then like your rope just runs over. So at, at this point in the whole process, I have already climbed the route. Uh, but I felt pretty hesitant about telling the world about where it is because just all of these little boulders, I've come down to just clean it all up and hopefully make it a safer experience for everyone that comes out here, like you, that want to come and try it. The best I'm really going to be able to do without essentially just shock creating the entire thing, uh, which is not entirely practical, just uh, whoever comes up through here, take it easy. It can seem like it's a lot of work bolting something like this, and like I, I guess that it is, but I don't really see it as being a lot of work in a way. Hard to explain, but I just, I love doing it, oh. is the thing. Like it just, it makes me so happy and it's as enjoyable as a day out at the cliff rock climbing for me. And... Dead battery. I just want to do more of it. It's really fun. It's just this whole sense of discovery coming out here. Lugging heavy bags and all that kind of stuff sucks, but it also just feels like something real. You don't get that pulling down on edges. Ugh, it's good. The line I eventually landed on is the one that I think probably makes the most sense. Starting down there next to the big gum tree and then coming up through the cracks and this little nose. And then you're just following this crack and corner system all the way up, up, up. It may seem like the most obvious thing once you show up to the cliff and all the chalk and the bolts and everything are there, but Far out, it's a real head scratcher for me to actually pick it and to make it all work in unison. The long, quiet... <laughs> well, kind of quiet. Days out here were just awesome. Just me and the Milwaukee swinging around. Just filled my soul. The busted knuckles, the cramped forearms, raw hips and just all of it made me feel like me again. Looking for something new, something unpredictable and outside of the vanilla. It feels like it can be really easy to slip into those predictable grooves sometimes and forget actually how easy it can be to just jump out and find something new, find the adventure again. And that doesn't need to be bolting a whole new multi-pitch or something like that, but just going to a new crag or trying a different style of climbing and just, just right under your nose sometimes. I have brought down my shoes so I might just uh, have a cheeky little play up the top there again. There really is just no shying away from the work when you're out here. I was pulling up 200 meters of rope just about every single day that I was out here. 10 days, 200 meters, like, it's a lot of rope. And I was jugging that far as well. Clips around to the bottom of my bosun chair. Got him. And away we go. There is nothing better than getting to the top at the end of one of these days. Oh. Oh. I think the 
that's about it though. I think we are pretty much done, which is a very cool feeling. In the end, it's been 80 plus bolts, more than two liters of glue, over a kilometer of jugging, and all for just a few pictures of rock climbing. But most importantly, it's kind of all for my happiness and it makes me happy to, to bolt and to be able to then go climb it and to share it with all of you, share this video with everyone. It's just good times. I have climbed the route at this point, so if that video is made, it's gonna be right here. Otherwise, I really appreciate you all being here. See you next time. It's so much nicer being on a ledge far up. Rather than hanging in your harness, everything's just, whoa, way easier. Can't trip over up there though. <laughs>